Hello and welcome to another video in my series on flight mechanics. And my name is Frank Owen, PolyX Engineering Incorporated, San Luis Obispo, California. In this video, we will look at the angular relationships between the inertial coordinate system and the body fixed coordinate system, both of which are commonly used in flight mechanics. The inertial system is attached to the Earth. Uh, it is designated by the subscript G. The body fixed coordinate system is attached to the airplane and moves with the airplane, and it is designated by the subscript B. We will look at uh, the relationship between these two coordinate systems in certain common flight conditions. Uh, we'll look and see how uh, the, these coordinate systems are related to each other in these situations. Uh, the first situation that we will consider is a steady climb of an aircraft. Uh, as we can see, we have a, um, a Cessna in a, in a uh, climb-oriented attitude. The body fixed coordinate system is longitudinal axis of the airplane, and it is designated uh, as XB. Uh, it is... Um, the aircraft is climbing, and uh, what's shown here is that uh, we don't, we're not really specifying the direction of the airplane. It could be going in the uh, XG direction, which is north, or the YG direction, which is east, or any direction. Um, uh, it's just that's just not important. What's important is that the airplane is climbing, and uh, we uh, uh, designate this angle gamma. Uh, the angle between the um, uh, body fixed uh, longitudinal axis of the airplane, XB, and the uh, horizontal plane. Uh, this is called the pitch angle. It has some other names. It's also called the flight path angle. And uh, also, because of this, uh, we'll see that the axis around which we rotate the airplane to uh, have a, a pitch angle is a pitch axis, and in this case it's the body fixed Y coordinate system, which extends from the center of mass of the, of the airplane out to the right of the uh, right of the aircraft. Uh, now we shall look at a, a situation in which an airplane is rolling to the left. We are, um, as, as always, our uh, Z direction is towards the center of the Earth, so we've drawn that direction from the center of mass of the airplane straight down towards the center of the Earth. The body fixed uh, Z axis goes out of the bottom of the airplane and it is in the uh, plane of symmetry of the airplane. In fact, uh, the ZB um, coordinate direction and the XB coordinate direction, which is the longitudinal axis of the, of the uh, airplane, form the uh, axis of symmetry of the aircraft. The angle between these two uh, directions is called mu and its roll angle. The roll axis of course then is longitudinal axis of the airplane. And here we are looking at it from the uh, uh, rear of the aircraft towards the front. Here we see an aircraft uh, from above. It's yawed to the right. Um, North is a dead ahead or straight up, and that's designated as XG. The body fixed uh, longitudinal axis is XB, as always, and we know the yaw axis is chi. It is the um, axis between uh, north and uh, the body fixed longitudinal axis. It also has another name, it's called the azimuth angle, which basically gives the direction of the airplane. Uh, we have the yaw axis here. This angle also is known to pilots as the heading angle because uh, it's shown as a heading on the instrument panel in the aircraft. That completes this video on uh, the relationships between the body fix system and the inertial system of an aircraft. Hope to have you as a guest in uh, future videos. Thank you for watching.